हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक गाइस टू अनदर वीडियो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट गियर टाइप हाइड्रोलिक पंप एज आई ऑलरेडी यस्टरडे टोल्ड यू बेसिक्स ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक पंप्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वन ऑफ इट्स टाइप दैट इज़ फिक्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट गियर टाइप हाइड्रोलिक पम्प सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड बिफोर दैट If you are new to my channel, subscribe to my ch channel and like the video if you like the content. Thank you. Let's start it. So uh, I already yesterday told you about the, that hydraulic pumps are always defined as the devices which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy. We already discussed it yesterday, and in gear type pump. Gear type hydraulic pump. Uh, actually, I studied Komatsu pumps, and I will show you it. Let's start it with a picture. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Here you can see a picture. Uh, let me rotate it for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> sorry for that. Here's a picture. Uh, this is gear type hydraulic pump there is a drive shaft on left side which is splined outside it is fitted with a um, flange or pto okay uh, this drive shaft is going inside towards this gear this downside gear which is a driver gear and it is giving drive to the upper gear okay which is which you can say it driven gear okay on the both sides of pump there are two bushings okay and there's a bracket which is for fitting purposes there's a, a cover on the right side and the pump case in which all the components you can also call it as as uh, housing pump housing okay uh, this is suction side this is suction side of pump okay this suction side and uh, there's a opposite side we can call it delivery side okay so this is all about parts basic parts here i already written these parts pump case driver gear driven gear drive shaft bushings bracket input or suction port and discharge port there is a note for you that suction port is always three times greater than discharge port because we need lot of oil we need lots of oil lots of volume of oil so that there will be no aeration aeration is the process in which air enters inside the oil uh, that will be in only case if there is some sort of leakage but if there is less amount of volume on the suction side there will be vacuum and if there will be vacuum that will go inside the gears and due to that vacuum uh, we call it a process which is known as pitting process that creates a small pitting small cavitation inside the body of the pump so th that is that is we are not talking about that long detail so uh, let's go ahead there are two clearances inside this pump first one is side clearance and the other one is radial clearance side clearance uh, the clearance between the bushing and the side of gear is known as side clearance okay you can see it here the clearance between the gear and the bushing that will be from 0.03 mm to 0.07 mm okay and the radial clearance the clearance between the pump case means housing and the top land of the gear top land means the top portion of the gear that clearance will be known as radial clearance okay so let's come towards the komatsu standard there are only five gear type pumps inside the komatsu standard you can see these okay i will tell you the uh, first one is fall or far fall or far this is the name there is only difference of l and r okay i will show uh, tell you in, in later on what's the difference between l, l and r okay its pressure will be 30 kg per cm square and its usage is sm uh, small devices like charging pump 
of PC 200-3 that is gear type pump maybe you see that uh, somewhere uh, swash player type pump have small pump which is gear type and uh, which uh, its pressure is 30 kg per cm square sorry for that uh, after that we have gal or gar pump its pressure is 125 kg per cm square and is used in transmission and steering devices pal or par 140 kg per cm square used for work equipment and call and sal and their pressure is 175 and 210 respectively so these last three pumps are used in work used for work equipment work equipment means blade tilt and ripper okay so uh, they are already uh, um, categorized these five pumps in small medium and large uh, uh, first one is small second gal and gar is uh, medium and pal kal and sal are in high category okay and let's come to the nomenclature of the pump nomenclature in the nomenclature we have first one f f stands for uh, actually we have these three blocks okay in these boxes we have three letters there could be only three letters you can also if i write it down as fall you can also write it down as far as pal par kal kar anyone okay but that will indicate its specifications f stands for low pressure g stands for medium pressure as you can see here you can see here f stands for low pressure 30 kg g stands for medium p k and s stands for high pressure but if there will be p you will call it 140 kg pr pressure if there is k 175 and if there is s that pressure will be 210 okay so after that we have a a stands for flange mounted means it is bolted with the help of nuts and bolts after that we have uh, l r r l r r is the direction of rotation means left to right or right to left okay so after that we have uh, 0 32 0 32 is the flow rate okay 32 liter per minute the pumps flow rate is 32 liter per minute okay and i, I already write it down like f low g medium p high okay k and s are also high so that's all about gear type hydraulic pump so thank you so much for watching again subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this thank you very much allah hafiz